What's poppin' B? My name is Winsby and welcome back to Resident Evil. Now in this episode we're gonna go ahead and go down here and then we're going down here because we got all the levers now. So with that being said, let's get a walk in going. Dude, what actually is down here? You might explode if shaken or jarred. Fueling device from the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. The empty capsule. Oh my god, I missed that. Okay. Good job I came back. <laughs> Miss me, bitch. That self-destruct mechanism is huge. Okay. There's no power to the main elevator. Start it up. Yes. Some won't initialize it. Appears it needs some sort of fuel. Is that fuel in here? Somewhere else. The fuel's going to be in that room. Beyond the levers, isn't it? Okay. Well, we'll head there now then. Wait, what's this? It's like a refueling device. Yes! I knew it! In nitro compound, running could result in a fatal... Ah. Right, so I need to walk everywhere. Well, that's super annoying, but I think we're good. It's not here that I need to put it in, is it? It's here, right? No. Oh shit, it's in the next room over, isn't it? It's not working right now because there's no fuel. Set the capsule into place. Yes. You know, there's a part of me that really wanted to run. I thought something was going to pop out on me then. I almost feel like this room down here is going to be irrelevant. Because to get that, you need the CD from the, the mansion. I feel like the jewelry box things weren't the one behind that gem. Probably wasn't needed, was it? But no, I feel like nothing story related is going to be down here. Like, I feel like it's probably just something for a... For a weapon or some of some sorts. Oh, uh, we got creepy music. Okay. Why have we got creepy music? It's Jill? Chris? Jill. Chris? Wesker's the... I know. I can't open it. Just wait, I'll be back. Okay. Oh yeah, she stars and we're BSA. There were stars as well. Who's BSA, bruv? Okay, well I suppose the key's down in the base- well, no, because this is the basement. They're all basements. And it's down in the basement basement? Yeah, because I don't really want to self-destruct the place while Jill's here, right? It's working. It doesn't sound like it's working. This could be nothing good, I'm presuming. Oh, it lifts up. Oh, hi, Wesker. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. But of course, you are one of my men. Thanks. <laughs> Since when, Wesker? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. And stars were Umbrella's... No. 
rather, my little piggies. <gasps> the Tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place, and unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed Enrico with your own dirty hands! You son of a bitch! <laughs> Enrico? Yes. I'm a fair man. I'll destroy all of you stars along with this entire place. You. Time for show and tell. Get up. What are you doing, Wesker? Ah, nice roly, fam. What's... Oh, is that... The big boy? Is that the tyrant? Oh, is that a hunter? Well, that's the tyrant, isn't it? It is! It's like the first version of the big boy that's chased us around in Resident Evil 2, right? Though that one looks a bit more fragile because it's got a heart on the outside. Might be easy to kill. The ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. Chris. You'll never understand. It's magnificent. Oh shit! Oh my fucking god! Come on, you test tube freak! Let's start running, brother. Oh, shit. Okay, so if I run on the, the side of him... ...that doesn't have the claw, I'm more likely to survive. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, I've got two heals. What's that? Is that a key? Yes. Oh right, so that's a way around him. The door is electronically locked. It looks like it's an automatic in case of emergencies. I'm gonna be able to kill him, am I? Oh shit. The time. F okay, so I probably can kill him. Oh wait, are you dead, dead, or are you dead? Okay, maybe you are dead. She used to compile experimental data. What a pathetic way to die, he's holding up something. Observation note, the discovery of the G-Virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of the primogenital virus. A prototype, a prototype parasite which we had delivered from the laboratory in France was administered to the same the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me. The prototype Parasite was incubating in the sample specimen's body for 21 years. Then from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated. Evolved may be a more appropriate word to describe it. This observation gave me more insight in my research. Though further modification and testing, I was able to derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. This way, this was the breakthrough that, that would change the future of BOW's history. I can't wait to see the look on Alex Alexa's Alexia's fa annoying face when I finally announce my research, but unfortunately I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. William Burke. That's the guy from Resident Evil 2, the scientist. Because Burke. Yeah, release the lock. Thank you. Burke was the scientist that died in 2, right? That fucker ain't dead. You ain't fooling me. Nothing's alive as ever. 
We got a laboratory key. Which I'm presuming is the key to unlock Jill. Imagine working that long on on a creation and it kills you instead of your opponent. That's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, we got oh, it's not a laboratory key, it's a fucking master key. Call it what it is, bruv. What the fuck is wrong with you? Jill, sorry I made you wait. I knew you'd come. Let's get out of here. That's what she said. Oh shit, we actually have a partner. Oh wait, these actually work together. Bro! No, Loki, that's actually kind of sick. Let's get going! Now stop running ahead. Oh, nah, she's gonna get attacked. The tyrant's gonna be outside! Ready? She gonna be grabbed by the neck by that thing now. Wait, shit! She just said, "Get going, get going." Where? Surely she means get going to the self-destruct button, right? Cause we self-destruct in this place, yeah. That's the main elevator. That's the wrong one. Laboratory salt is cute. You're really not doing that. That's mad. All this shit and you're letting them all survive. There is so many specimens down there that you saw. Am I going the right way? Am I going the wrong way? I'm so confused. So I would have thought you would have wanted to self-destruct this place. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Because this is... It said, in case of uh, emergencies, use this place. This is Brad. Running out of fuel. This is your last chance. If there's anyone alive, give me a sign. I repeat, this is your last chance. Jill, you hella slow and it's worrying me. The elevator isn't working. Better get the power back. The isn't receiving power, the fuse unit is missing. You fucker. I'll take care of them. But Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay. You can both go. Jill, you sacrificing yourself for no fucking reason. It's not like they're going to be able to use a fucking elevator, is it? The fuck is that? The signal rockets. Oh. Can I just use them? Yeah, okay. So why did she sacrifice herself if it's that easy? That's not Jill. Oh, that is Jill. You okay? Now, nah, something don't feel right about this. Is it really that easy? We just letting that place go, that's still crazy to me. The fact that they ain't self-destruct that place. You wouldn't have that, that issue with that thing being alive and still chasing you if you just self-destructed the place.
But that means... That means Wesker survived that though, right? The Resident Evil 4? Because nah, that just doesn't feel right either. But fair you, I'm still pissed off about Rebecca. How the fuck Chris let her die like that, bro? And the only ones that survived was Jill and Chris as well. Not Chris, is it? Is it Leon? Is it Chris? I can't remember. I still can never get that right. What the f- Oh, I don't know. I feel like that was quite unsat- uh, sat uh, Quite an unsatisfying ending as well. I feel like it should have let me... You know? Self-destruct the place. Like, I feel like that's really annoying as well. But it's been there, like, it wasn't this their first game. There's, like, quite a lot of people in this. I can't remember what. Because this was made by Capcom, wasn't it? Was it published by Capcom? I can't remember. There's a lot of scenes here that I haven't seen. Why are you showing me all the cutscenes for every single cutscene in the game? That is not Rebecca there. Chris, you did a fine job. I, I completed it under 10 hours. Oh, the closet key. Yeah, because that's a thing. What does that do? Once again... Resident Evil. Costume has been unlocked. The fuck is wrong with you, Chris? Yeah, wait, that's him as stars. That's him as BSA. Is that different stuff based on what what you pick here? To be fair, I might play as I might do another one as Jill. We'll play for Jill. Oh, the new game buttons changed to once again. Plus this has changed. I don't know what that's about though. What happens if I try and load my my clear data one? What's this do? Oh, it just loads me up here, okay. Right, well, with that being said, I suppose that's where we're finished. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth doing Jill's end. Like redoing the entire thing. Just to get Jill's ending. I don't know. I'll think it over. If you see this again, then you know I played it through. We played it for Jill's. If you don't, then I didn't. But yeah, I don't know if I'm quite with that ending. But I suppose it might be different with whoever you take. I suppose from the ending, I'm taking that the tyrant's still alive, and that's why we find the tyrant in zero. In, in zero. In two. Obviously, I still got to play Zero, so I don't know if the Tyrant is in Zero, but we'll be on that soon anyway. And with all that being said, this is where we end off the final episode of Resident Evil, Chris Wise. Obviously, once again, as I said, might play Jill, might not. But if you enjoyed, go down below, hit that subs uh, subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoyed it that much, it's greatly appreciated. Any games you'd like to see me play in the future, drop those down in the comments and I will see yous in the next episode. See ya!